Equity Market Outlook January 2024. Happy New Year from the entire team at Axis MF. Indian markets ended the year on a strong note with S&P BSE Sensex and Nifty 50 ending the month higher 7.8% and 7.9% respectively. Although subdued by large caps this month, Nifty Mid Cap 100 and Nifty Small Cap 100 ended the month up 7.6% and 6.9% respectively. Key benchmark indices such as the BSE Sensex crossed the 72,000 mark while the Nifty 50 inched towards the 22,000 mark. All sectors delivered positive absolute and relative returns in December. Market breadth was strong as seen in the advance, decline ratio while volatility was higher compared to the previous month. For the year, the Nifty 50 and BSE Sensex returned 18.7% and 20% respectively while the Nifty Mid Cap 100 and Nifty Small Cap 100 ended on a stellar note advancing 46.6% and 55.6% respectively. This was the eighth consecutive year of positive returns in equities. While last two years saw outflows from FPIs, 2023 turned out to be a year of robust inflows. In fact, the year saw inflows worth 171,107 crore rupees or 21 billion United States dollars, of which 8 billion dollars were in December alone. Within the emerging market basket, India was the highest beneficiary of these inflows. The sectors that saw the highest inflows were industrials, consumer discretionary and financials while energy and technology had outflows. Despite the strong inflows, the FPI's ownership in BSE 500 is near lows. Meanwhile, DII poured in funds worth US$22 billion. The rapid mobilization of household savings was another factor that worked in favor of DII. Monthly SEEP inflows topped the 17,000 crore rupees mark, 2 billion United States dollars, and most of it was reflected in inflows into mid and small cap funds. Economic growth. The year 2023 turned out to be a year of resilience and strong economic growth catapulting India into a fastest growing country in the world. India also became the fifth country to have a market capitalization in excess of 4 trillion dollars. Headline inflation accelerated to 5.6% in November from 4.9% in October in light of an UPTICK in food prices and waning base effect. Nonetheless, inflation trends remain subdued and the Reserve Bank of India in its last monetary policy meeting retained CPI estimate at 5.4% for financial year 24. Indian markets trade at premium valuations in context of long-term averages, both in absolute, relative terms. Nifty APS growth expectations for financial year 24E are 17%, 20% and financial year 25E are 14%, 15%. Recent earnings revisions have been resilient and better than long-term trends. Despite India's persistent outperformance, PA valuations of large-cap indices, example the Nifty 50, are close to their five-year means. This suggests that a rotation to large caps is imminent and some caution in mid caps is warranted bringing us to the important aspect that's valuations. Currently, valuations in India are expensive relative to the Asian peers and India remains the most expensive market, on both forward P, A and trailing P, B basis. Earnings. The earnings outlook for India remains strong relative to the emerging markets. In terms of earnings growth drivers, healthy credit demand and bottoming margins in case of banks should lead to high earnings visibility and strong profitability over the next few years. Within non-financials, robust high-end consumption demand and recovery of private capex cycle recovery in the second half should drive earnings growth. Outlook Growth in the next few months is likely to be driven by election-related spending which should boost consumption demand. Post-elections, we expect investment growth to take center stage particularly from the private sector. If the state elections are any indication, the risks from general elections are quite low and in our view policy continuity would set the stage for a further rally in equities. In the near term, slowing growth in the developed economies could exert pressure on external demand thereby acting as a drag on exports. We expect our currency to remain in a narrow range in light of manageable current account deficit, potential bond inclusion inflows and large forex reserves. Overall, India has the right ingredients in place to set the momentum further over the medium to long term.
The big picture is suggestive of an economy that will benefit from long-term factors such as improving infrastructure, manufacturing and the China plus one strategy that is curtailing imports and stepping up exports, formalization of the economy and rising digitization. India continues to be one of the few geographies globally that continues to record strong GDP growth with multiple positive drivers, as discussed above, in place to sustain it as well. This factor should continue attracting investors to invest in India. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks, read all scheme-related documents carefully.